Hi guys and welcome to the best Superliga team in FIFA 15. This is the best Danish league team in the game, as you put in the manager here. And yeah, uh, so it's a squad builder today, and we're going to be looking at this team. And in goal, we've got I can't really know how to say his name is Haradeki or something like that. He was he was decent. He made some real nice point black saves and some also long distant ones like his free kick. They also saved a penalty during the games I played. It wasn't an amazing penalty save. But you know, you gotta still save those ones close to you. Sometimes I've seen goalies let those in. And it really pisses me off when that happens. So it was good to see that he, he could make that kind of save. So let's look at the, the defence. Right back, we've got Hoggy. Or Hogley, sorry. And then we've got Antonson and Agar as a centre back partnership. And then Tambora at left back. And the defence, it wasn't very fast to be honest. With uh, Tambora with 75 pace being the highest, so you're going to get cut out by a lot of those really fast defenders. And in the games, I did get my best defender sent off, Aga, sent off in the one game. Although I don't, I'm not really sure this was a send enough to be fair. It was a pretty unlucky one overall. So the ball had gone in lucky, it was barely a touch. So I thought that was a bit unlucky, but those both the centre backs were both good at cutting, at jumping in, cutting in as a like stepping up when they needed to into the to forwards and making sure of stopping play and then breaking up and then playing it on. As you see, Antonson does it twice in a short period of time. He wins it here after that heavy touch, but I do go on to lose it after I play it out. But here you look, as you'll see, he'll do it, he does it again, making a great block and then he plays it down the line brilliantly. Giving me a chance to go on the attack. And obviously the defence is quite low rated, although that, that tackle there was brilliant. It should have showed off Aga making that block and then Antonson making an unbelievable tackle in. And Tambora was very good. His recovery was unbelievable. As you can see there, he made that tackle to nail that guy and then he's still on this guy like a... He's just up like on this guy lot flies on shit, man. He's unbelievable. Well, the is very Here, this is even better. This one, he he jumps in there and makes a mistake, but he's he's on the guy all the way. He, he misses it again, but look at this recovery. Yeah, it's unbelievable the way he just stays with his man. This guy, I'm pretty sure he had like 93 paces as well, and then he makes an unbelievable tackle. The guy was, yeah, the guy was really good. And then Holgi was decent as well as he makes that goal on clearance there. He was very good. He almost scored an unbelievable goal as well, Hug Hugley. With, oh, he's just unlucky there to hit the bar. And there he just nutmegs someone. But moving on, after the defence was decent, but it wasn't amazing. It, as it, cause it is quite low rated. But moving on to the midfield, we've got Fella. And then we've got Verts in there to be the alongside Carlenberg. Verts is the more defensive one because he's got a high defensive work rate, medium attacking. And then Carlenberg's there for the passing and for the play. To keep the team ticking over. And then on the left, we've got the ex fallen man, Kaka Niklic, or Klikny Klak Klak, if you get my reference. But here, Fella was mainly in there for the skills, as you can see. Uh, he, got, he got a few of those kind of ones going, but he wasn't amazing. And Furtz's long shot was great. He was very good at cutting up the play like he should, but his, his long shots are unbelievable there as he hits the bar. And his interplay there was great. But there, he shows like his, his discrepancies with it as he loses it. But he wins it back brilliantly. And then smashes another one off the bar. And lucky not to score again. And then Carlenberg was the master from set pieces for me. He scored two, he scored three goals. He scored two penalties, as you can see here. One straight to the top corner. And then one, he chipped it. Spoiler alert. <laughs> as he, uh, yeah, I, I, I love chipping, loving chipping it on penalties. A little bit of a penenka. And then he also scored an unbelievable free kick, as you'll see here. He had great free kicks, he just smashes it in. The guy tries to even get a player on the line, but I'm just too fast and too, the free kick's too accurate and it flies into the back of the net. Yeah, he was, he was very good. He has 74 dribbling, 75 passing. And Verts has 74 defending and 76 physical, which for Silvers is really, really good. They're both really slow, around 60 pace though. So you need to be careful, otherwise you're going to get cut out in that midfield because it's quite an open formation, 4-4-2. And here you can see Kakla Niklic. He wasn't deadly from it finishing. But as you'll see, he does feed the front men a lot in these goals coming up. 
with hit the front men are Amanda and Derrida. And as you can see from these clips that you're about to see, they were unbelievable for me. But like I was saying, throughout these goals, you will see the interplay from the midfield and from the defence to feed the two front men, who, as a partnership, worked really well. Surprisingly, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I was very surprised how good they were, to be honest. As you see, it's deadly ball into the it, across the box from Kaklin Niklic. He was very good. If Kaklin Niklic had four star skills, maybe five, if you're pushing it, he would have been unbelievable to use. Oh, he would have been so fun. Because I made use with the three that he had with the roulettes and some four rolls and some step overs. Wow, he just would have been perfect if he had those four star skills. And like I say, out of push, maybe some five star. He's playing in a weaker league now, so you never know. It may be next year, but it might not be as good next year as he cuts the side brilliantly. Yeah, yeah but you will, and you will see some um, some interplay from the other players as well, like here, to create the goals. <laughs> as Almanda was just surprisingly very good. I know he's, he's obviously been a very good pl player throughout his career. I, wasn't, I, would, I would have thought he'd probably have lost it, especially on this FIFA as well, with the 70 pace very low and his high defensive work rate. But it worked for him very well because he just press it, pressed the defence really well. He was always up in their face. Then he could just score goals like that. And he was also a very clinical finisher. He could find his way past the keeper. Although the keeper just jumps out of the way right there. I don't know what he was playing at. Well, they didn't play for that goal. was very, very nice. Derrida also had a high attack and work rate and a high defensive work rate like Amanda although Amanda's attack and work rate is medium so Derrida would like be up and down, up and down which worked very well for him because he was the fastest player in the team with that 85 pace and to be honest he was probably it was Kakla Niklic up until about the last two games I played with this team but then Derrida just stole the show for me it was, it was epic as he, as he plays at 1 2 yeah, and breaks away. He was, to be honest, if he was a little, little bit better at finishing, he would have been amazing, the Ridder. He missed a lot of chances as well. I, I was going to put those in, but then he scored a load, a load of goals late on in the games. So I had to leave it out. But yeah, he was. From what. Not there, it, it wasn't a very good finish, but he was still on there with that high defensive work rate. He was pressing, pressing, pressing to get that rebound. Yeah, there was, like I say, it's a partnership. One was fast, one was big. There was both good finishers. As you see, another great bit of work there from Kakla Niklic. Who's probably, the, like I say, the second best player in the team. So overall, the team was very nice. I definitely recommend giving it a go. It was very fun. Maybe make some changes if you don't think some of the players are up to your standard for this. And you have to see some of the options in the league. Which you could use. I suggest doing that if you feel that way. You know, that's that's. You should always go your gut instinct and your opinions on teams. That's what I went with with this team, and it turned out to be very good. And here we're just going to have a look now at the team. As you can see, it gets four camels overall. With Fella being the only player on non camp, but he will get the ten once he plays the ten games. And you can see the prices of the players. For 350 coins there, he's quite a decent goalkeeper. Very, very solid. Um, he's got great stats as well. And then you can see the defence. Hoagie was decent. Hoagie, sorry. I always get his name mixed up. For 250 was good. Anton Sun for 78 defending for that sheet was very good. Aga being the only gold in the league. And being in an undesirable league is very cheap. As you know, he's a very good player in the game. He's as good as last year still. Tambora, very good. 250 coins. As you saw, he's so physical and so beastly. He's very good. For 250 coins to get a four-star skiller in the team, bargain. Although, if he had a high attacking work rate, he probably would have gotten into the game a bit more. That's his only downfall. The midfield partnership, though, as the two in Furtz and Karlenberg for 550 coins for both of them. For them, that is an absolute bargain. You got goals, you got passing, you got defending. It was a very good partnership it's for so cheap. This whole team is so cheap, I definitely suggest it. Kakalik Nikolic for 400. Only with him not having those four star skills. He got five assists in the five games. Perfect. Just needed to add some goals for his game to be even better. 
And you can see Derrida, nine goals in five games for 300 coins. You can't go wrong there. And then the final player in the team is Amanda. 500 coins, five goals, three assists. Absolute bargain again. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I definitely recommend the team, and I'll see you in a bit.